Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, is explaining how he came to turn on his former boss. Cohen's cross-examination began this afternoon in the Trump hush money trial in New York. He was on the witness stand for a second day. Prosecutors spent hours on their direct examination. And as ABC's Rena Roy shows us today, the defense got their turn. Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, grilled by defense attorneys on the stand. Once one of the former president's closest allies, Cohen testifying about the alleged hush money payment he made to Stormy Daniels days before the 2016 election. Defense attorney Todd Blanche combative, asking about comments Cohen made about him on TikTok, which were promptly stricken from the record. Cohen later conceding he has also said disparaging things about Trump on social media. And when pressed on if he wanted Trump to be convicted, Cohen said he'd like to see accountability. And when pressed, he ultimately responded, Yes. Earlier, prosecutors wrapping up their questioning, lasting nine hours over the course of two days. Cohen telling the jury about the lies he says he told on Trump's behalf to journalists and to Congress about the alleged catch and kill scheme. Cohen saying, I regret doing things for him that I should not have, lying, bullying people in order to effectuate a goal. Cohen reiterating that he paid Daniels on behalf of Trump to influence the election, telling jurors it was to ensure that the story would not come out and would not affect Mr. Trump's chances of becoming president of the United States. Prosecutors asking Cohen, were it not for the campaign, would you have paid that money to Stormy Daniels? Cohen replying, no ma'am. Cohen emotional during direct examination when he told jurors about his decision to eventually flip on Trump at the urging of his family. It was at this exact moment Trump's political entourage, including several possible GOP running mates, was escorted into the courtroom by security. Trump has pleaded not guilty to falsifying business records and has denied any sexual encounter with Daniels. I took a legal expense and they called it, I didn't do it, a bookkeeper did it, she did it exactly right. Took a legal expense and called it a legal expense. This is their whole case. And Trump has tried to challenge the limited gag order in this case, which prevents him from making public statements about witnesses and jurors. But today, an appellate court upheld the order. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.